So today, I would like to try to show you how to draw this drawing. This is a drawing I did. And I want to show you how to draw freehand. And that way, you can look at a picture and you can draw it. Now, I'm just mainly focused on drawing freehand. See how it turns out. It doesn't have the exact size. See how it turns out. See how close you can get to that picture. It's a great practice. So you take a picture of anything. It could be an animal, whatever. And sit down and just draw it. And just see if you can get some kind of a likeness. Or how close you can get to that picture. So that um, it's a great practice. And eventually you'll get so used to drawing that you will be able to get a likeness or very good closeness to what you're drawing. And also this is a good uh, example for how to draw here. So, and shading, all right, and shadows and, and where the highlights should go and all that good stuff. So let's just try first, and you gotta decide where do you wanna start. I found that when I started drawing this, I found the chin area was the easiest place for me to start. It gave me a basis for starting, so that's where I picked. Now, like I said, don't have the exact size, but you do have to get it similar, okay? So you line up your paper to the paper that you're doing, and it helps to have your paper about the same size as 8.5 by 11 printer paper. So it does help uh, to have the paper the same size, okay? That way you can see how much space you take up on your paper. So then you just take the chin area. So I'm thinking the chin is coming down like this. If you're worried about not getting close enough, you can also measure with your pencil, okay? So you can just measure off the chin like that. And look, I got pretty close even without doing that, okay? And then I'm just going to do the other side. So you measure that. So I'm just going to lay it down and put a little dot there. I didn't mean to put it that dark. <laughs> so, so now I'll come up with that area. And what I do is, I'm going to have to get rid of that little dot because it's too far up and it's in the way now. So I'm going to take my chin and like I said, I'm not going to be trying to be too exact. I just want to have an idea where that, that came up to about here and here. And then the here, of course, came down here. So I just got to get this side of the face so that it's similar to this one. So I'm just measuring it off, measuring it off. It ends up there. So I'll just come down with a line. So I got that much done. So you get the chin area first. Okay, so when you're happy with the chin, you get the side of the face. You do your measuring with your pencil. All right, so that's that much. And then we, we want to see the here. So the here also comes down. So you got to decide where you want the nose and the mouth. So when you get, let's get this side of the face down too. Let's just assume that this is the face, but that's going to be the here. But that's okay because it's giving us an idea of where we want eyes. So the eyes would be up here under the hat. So about halfway down between under the hat and the chin would be the nose. So about halfway, okay? So just put two little dots there in the center of the, just to get, get it started, okay? Just two little, little, little black dots, sort of, okay? And then, uh, then another halfway down is the mouth. So the mouth is halfway down. So the center of the mouth, this dark part here, would be the halfway down mark, because now you're going to, make the lips and then when you come in with the lips the lips are to the edge of the nose so the nose is here and bring out a little a little the little wings of the nose so you know so now the lips are going to be at the edge of the wings of the nose and then you're going to make that little puffy lip make like letter M okay and then you're going to have the bottom one 
and things might look funny at first because you're only just getting it started so you're just trying to get things in place so if you get as close as you can to the to the size if you want it bigger you just make it bigger you're, you're eyeballing it now it's just free this is a free free hand drawing so there's no tracing no you know a bit of measuring with this with your pencil so now we want to get the head so the head comes to the top of the nose as you can see, it comes down around like this, right? It comes over and down. Now, you don't know how far over to go. So if you want to, you can measure the here, how far out it goes. So you can go from the edge here to the edge of the here. So it comes to about here. Okay, so that's the here. So we'll just make a little line coming down for the here. All right, because the hat's right here. And it looks like a little poop going up there like that, right? And then it comes down on top of the nose. So that makes it a little bit easier for you. So you got that line coming down, up, and down. So let's start at that little edge of the hair there first, because it looks like the line is at the edge of the hair. And then you come up, and the letter, the, this looks like an upside down V or getting ready to do an A. You can, um, it starts to come up. And then it comes down. So it comes down to the top of the nose. So you can make a line here first. So make lines in different places just to help you, okay? So you can meet up with that now. And then you come over, and then you got another hairline, which is here. So you got some more hair right here. So now you come over here. And it goes around, see? It goes around. And then it goes in. See that part there? It goes in towards the back. Now we may have to make adjustments as you can see. I got until I put the hair in, I won't, it'll be a little harder to see. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hair in just to get an idea. So over here, then it comes up. And I'm gonna measure that just in case. It seems like all my measurements are going from the top of the pencil to this part here. <laughs> Everything I've measured so far. Everything I measured so far. So I'm just going to lay it down and just make a little dot so I'll know where I go. There. Now we got to figure out. So we got this part here and this part here. Now we got to figure out the top of the hat and all that good stuff. So how far back are we going to go? So let's measure. It's a little bit bigger this time. Okay, so we got a little. So this is all a help, you know. It helps you. It helps you put things in place. But like I said, you're gonna have to make adjustments along the way. All right. And this here lines up here like this. So the edge of that that went around here now lines up with that part of the head. All right. So the head then comes up, right? But we have this other little wing out here. It's like a little V or well, sideways V. <laughs> So that comes out, you can measure it if you want, or you can eyeball it, all right? All right, so we're gonna go out, and then it meets up with the bottom part of this. Meets up with the bottom part here, see? See that? Okay. So it meets up here and here here and here so I'm trying to make sure you can see both pictures so with our hat then you can measure the hat you can measure the hat from 
that rim here, not the band, but the rim, and to the top. All right. So my fingers right here. So I'm gonna lay that down here, and then I'm gonna make a little dot up here. That's where the hat then ends up here, and the edges come out to the sides here, right? It makes it a little easier to get the shape of the hat. And I find the lines come in a little bit. And you don't have to worry about it being exactly the same. Not when you're doing this in the beginning, because you don't want to be so caught up in having that line exactly right, and that line exactly right, that you'll never get anything done. But this is going to give you, um, eyeballing will give you, you know, observation. You'll get more observant. You'll be able to, this comes, that's the hair line. So that hair, this comes back in here a bit more. So I'm going to take out that bit of hair there. So that will give you more practice in um, observing your objects and your subjects, okay? Every little line. You're looking at every little line now. You're not just looking at, oh, that, as a whole picture, you're looking at each individual line. Each in, It's not a head, it's lines. It's lines and shadows, okay? And so it helps you know what to look for because you're going to be looking for shadows, highlights, shapes. So now you got that much done. It's not exactly the same as, as this one, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because I just want to show you today how you can do a picture without, you know, worrying about exact likeness. A lot of people get caught up in getting exactly like what they see, that they can't get the drawing done at all because they get discouraged. But you practice doing this enough, and eventually you'll just be able to sit down and draw almost anything, all right? So now here we have the hairlines coming down, hairlines coming down here, right? So now we just shape that up. Comes in her face, that's her hairline here, and maybe it's coming, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, just bringing down some hair just to get some idea where everything goes. You might make her hair a little bit longer if you want. And this hair comes over here, and I'll make it a little bit longer, and then that's the outside of her hair. And then you got the inside of her hair. And that comes in towards her neck. Right? So I'm just following shapes. That's all I'm doing is following shapes. Right? Okay. Just following shapes. See? Now, let's get more her shoulders, maybe. She has a little a little shirt on here, so we'll put the shirt in. Let's put the shirt in. The shirt comes down to... You don't have to measure if you don't want it to be the same size. You can just eyeball it. Okay. And then you got the shoulders. Coming out like that. So the shoulder comes a little above this neckline here, comes up a little bit. Okay, so it comes up here. And you can see that the end of the shoulder right here ends right here. See? So always look for places that you can line it up with. So her shoulder comes up. Now in this picture, it ends up here which means that I don't have this one exactly the same. So how do I measure it now? So the only way I can do it now is by measuring like that, and that will give me an idea. All right. So there's a few ways you can do it. And it comes out to here. All right. See, I was going too far out. So you can see. All right, so... It, and I find that it's a little bit too round. So you can, whenever you do something, erase it and go back over it. All right, so that's her little shoulder there. You can come on down. 
All right, so we want everything to be around the same. Okay, just the end of our shirt, just the end of our hair. I just want to make some markings, all right? And our other shoulder is same. I'm finding it really strange that uh, most of the measurements are that. <laughs> That's okay, whatever works. So this end of the shoulder comes to the edge of that. So it's basically around the same. Comes up a little bit as if her shoulders are up. All right, and then it comes down. And that should be around the same. That one's a little wider as it goes down, okay? There we go. So we may have to adjust it, you know, like when we get the shadows done, that will help us decide if the shoulders are correct or not, okay? So it's not too bad so far. Not too bad so far. So we need to get the shadows and shading in now to make it look more like the picture. So we're going to put a little bit of shadow on this hat. I'm still using the... Uh, the HB pencil. You can use um, anything lighter than 2B. All right, go into the B pencil. Could be a B pencil, HB, 2H would be a good start. Okay, so in case you got to erase, if you got to erase something, if you use pencil that's too dark, it would be harder to get rid of the lines. So I put that in here like this. I take that out because I only had a marking there. I don't want that. And measured that. So I've just gone over a few lines here just to make sure everything is okay. Alright, so I'm finding that one a little bit too big, so I'm going to erase it. So it's up to you, you know, if you want it to be about the same size. But if this helps, measuring like that, That'll make your life a little more, a little easier. So I'm just going back over the lines now so I can get some graphite on there, okay? So I'm just going to double up on that line a little bit and come on down for the shadow. Put in a little bit of shadow under here just to get an idea where the shadows are going. Up and around. A little bit of shadow in here. And then down around here. Do you think that's too high up? It's kind of strange to me. I think I'm going to try and fix that a little bit. We're just trying to eyeball it, see? So I'm trying to get that. I still want it to go up in a nice little peak. We got a shadow there. Not bad. There's a shadow. Oh no, that's not a shadow. <laughs> that's not a shadow. The shadow is. Oh yes, okay. The shadow is halfway down. All right, we got it. See, so you have to really look at what you're drawing. Don't look away too much. Only when you're filling in something, but don't look away too much. You have to look at the picture. Very a lot, okay. You have to look at it a lot. So, going over here, I'm straightening up that edge there, as you can see. I have a little band around here, I might put that in next. Don't have to do like I said, whatever you want to do first or next is up to you. I'm just going to put that in next. Good. Now we'll work on, work on her hair. All right. So her hair will just really pull in some lines. It's straight here, so we want to pull in the lines. Keep the shape of her face. So if you weren't happy with the shape of her face, you can shape it up with her hair, see? And then we'll keep We'll keep the shape of her hair just by pulling down these lines. See my hand, I'm hoping it's not too much in the way. Um, see that? Straight lines down like that, see that? 
we got some stray hairs going on there too, so we'll get those after. Let's just get decide how far down we want to go first. So I'm thinking maybe just right to the edge of her arm here, same as there. And so just straight lines. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, get as long as you can. Get those lines as long as you can, okay? And go with the shape of the hair. If the shape if the hair is coming out this way and then it's turning this way, then put your lines that way. If you go straight up and down or scribble them in, it's it's gonna really take away from the shape of the hair. So just go with the shape of the hair. It's coming down and it's going around this way. Alright? And you can even pull up. That way you'll get a nice end to your hair. See? Good. Maybe there's, in this one here it's just straight down, but if you want to make a little curve on the end or little bits of hair coming off the edge, you can do that too. Whatever way you want your hair is okay. And then you pull in. We're going to go with a darker pencil to get the darker shadows in the hair. I just want to see what way I want the hair first. And then we have some stray here. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Comes on our shoulder too. All right, so got stray here coming off. So I'm pulling out some extra hair coming in towards that hair. Some more coming in towards that hair, and some in between. But I want to leave a wider space so it looks like it's stray. And then you can put a few little stray hairs like here. But you might want to do that after when you shade in this, but we'll figure that out after. I'm not going to worry about it. Well, all I want to do now is know where I'm putting everything, okay? So then you can come down again with this side. And this here is kind of falling over to the side. You see that? It's falling over. Even though we don't have the highlights in yet, you still need to know what way the hair is going in order to give you that shape. So that hair is falling over this way. It's falling in different ways. Down. Down this way. Falling front here and here. It's coming right down here. Okay, so try to get it similar if you can. If you can't, just uh, put in some hair. Whatever. You could have curly hair, you could have whatever, but I'm just going to go straight here today. All right. It's falling over that side of the face and it's coming out to the side, but underneath is coming down and around the bottom there. And I'm going to go back up. I like, I love doing this, pulling back up. I love doing that because that gives you those nice edges on the edge of the hair. Right? If you come down, it's a little harder to get those nice edges, but when you pull back up, you can get that nice edge to the hair, see? And then you can pull back up this way to come into the hair. All right, and then we're gonna meet up with that. Good. Now we know which way the hair is going, that will help us get the, kind of, get the highlights where it's supposed to go. We got a black shirt underneath here, so we may have to put that in before we do too much with the hair. Alright, so I'm just pulling back up and I'm coming back down. So up and down, doesn't matter, right? You can, but I find on the edges, if you go back up, you get a really nice edge to it, okay? Now you can see it comes down that way and it comes over this way. So you want to get some shape to your hair, right? You don't want it to be just boring. You don't want your hair to be boring. I'm just putting some darker lines in. Now I'm going to switch. I'll switch pencils after to get the dark shirt here. But I'm just going to do the shoulders. Just that little extra graphite so I can make some shading. Alright. And, and... I'm just going to 
fill in those dots here. Put a shape for nose. And I'm going to get those lips started. So She has a little bit of an opening here in the center of her lips. We'll just fill that in there. But make that center a little bigger. Make it look like her mouth is open a small bit. And then we'll fill in this part here. And we got that. And we got a little bit of... Outside the nose, a bit of a shadow going down here. Okay, and now all we have to do really is shade it all in. So I think, just fill that in here. I think I might transfer to my. Let's see. So these extensions are great. I think I mentioned my other videos before, okay? So just so you'll know, because you can get these in my Amazon shop. Because if your pencil is really, really small like this, it's hard to hold it in your hand. So you want to get something that will help extend it. So it's a pencil extender, and I love it, right? I'd be throwing away a lot of pencils if I didn't use this. And I love this because uh, this helps keep me from making a mess here. And it keeps my hand from getting really dirty too, right? So, so it all helps. It's all good stuff. This is all good stuff. This is a little eraser that I got. All right, this is an eraser. It's like a, a pen, you know, or a pencil, and it's easier to handle. And it erases really well. And this, uh, but it leaves, um, uh, it leaves, um, you know, the uh, part of the eraser, right? So that's fine. But if you want to use a kneaded eraser and you don't want to make a mess, you just do that scene there's just nothing there. So just trying to show you all the tools that you can use. You can use your blending stump. So every time I do a drawing video, I'm going to mention these things in case, you know, in case you need to uh, be reminded. <laughs> so this here, I'm just going to take my my blending stump and bring out some shadows for now. Okay, I'm just going to smooth that out there and smooth that out here just so I can get an idea of what it's going to start looking like. Might just even blend this out a bit. There we go. Just blending it out so I can see how things are going to look for future. Telling my future. <laughs> so, and I got this here. Now I'm going to, as you can see in this one, I have this nice shading in the background and that makes that hat stand out nicely and it makes the lines disappear. The edges, the edges disappear, right? See? See I got edges there now, right? And here they just disappear into the paper, all right? So that's how you make lines disappear. You, you bring some shading back. You put in as much as you want. Make circles if you like, okay? Whatever you want to do. Go back and forth or circles. As long as you get some shading there, and that'll make those lines disappear. The shading has to be almost as dark as the lines to make it disappear. So what you're gonna do is go over the line and then bring that shading out away from the line, okay, but very gently, don't make them too black, but you just move away, and that way you get that nice background, but not too dark, like I said, just a very, very, I'm barely touching the paper, but as you can see, because this is a size 4, uh, 4B, now if you want to use uh, probably something 
Maybe HB might be a little more easier to control. That's better. That's better actually because then you you got more control over how dark it is, okay? So just use the side of the pencil and we'll use the blending stump too. But see how it's making everything disappear in the back? See that? So the same over here. So on the line, just move away, move away, move away. So if the line is really dark, you got to keep the darkness coming out until you get further out to make that line disappear, okay? Because you get a dark line right like here. It's not going to disappear if you just have a little bit of shading there. So I just still be able to see that line. So... Bring it out, 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 make little circles if you want. We're going to use the blending stump to help us get a smoother edge, all right? A smoother look to it. So here's the other edge here, okay? So bring it out, bring that dark line out, 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 out. And as the further you get out, the more you lift your pencil, okay? So try to make that edge here as dark as that line, and then move away, move away, move away to get... so that it will disappear. And so you won't have too much of darkness. So there we go, another edge here. And we'll take that out. Take that edge and move it out, move it out, move it out. It's almost like making, it's almost like making that line bigger, wider. And then you lift up and as you come out, then you, you lift up on your pencil so it's not quite as dark, but it'll make it look like there's a shadow there, right? Okay. And then you got more shadows. Same with the shoulders. Okay, same with the shoulders. Stand on top of the shoulder. See, there's the line. Now I'm making the line bigger and bigger and wider and wider and wider. And as I come out, then I'll I'll lift up on my pencil more. All right, and then the hair is here, so it, the hair will blend in with the background also. See, isn't that nice? So you keep keep doing that. I'll just continue doing this while you're watching. Now, so you can see in this one, see how the shadows are darker out around the, so, the, so I could make that disappear, so I could make those lines disappear, so I made them darker here, but then as I moved out, it got lighter. So that's what we're doing here. We want to blend those shoulders in with the background. So use your blending stump and just make circles. And just come out as far as you want. Because as you come out, it will get lighter. But as you're close to here, you can rub against that. And then you can start making circles again. And see how it all disappeared into the background? So what I do is I push harder on those dark lines and then I, I still, I'm still pushing hard because I still want that graphite to move around. See? And then I come over here. Great for backgrounds, but another good thing is when you want to make, like say you're making a cat and you want whiskers, well your background has to have some shading on it. It can't be pure white or you won't be able to see your whiskers. So I'll probably do a cat for you, and uh, so I can show you how to get the whiskers. And if you're not, if you don't know already, you might, you know, I'm not sure if you're watching and you already know a lot of stuff. I'm trying to pick up some extra. That's what I do. Even though I, even though I've been doing this for a while, I still look at videos. I still want to see what you know, because they might use different techniques than I do, and I might be able to pick up a couple of techniques where I can show it to you. You know, or I can, or I can see something that I liked, and then I can make it a, a more simple version. 
something like that, you know. So I'm always looking out for ways to be able to show you a simplified way of learning. And you might say, well, why? You know, if, if I already know how to draw, well, because when you look at some of the videos, they're, um, they're time lapse too, but there are some fantastic ones out there that will explain everything, show you the pencils. That's what I'm trying to do, to show you everything. And you pick up so much from these people, they, you know, because most of what I do is, is painting. But I love to draw. I love doing commissioned art for people ask me to draw, do portraits for them. I love that. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to keep my blending stump out because now I can start shading in some areas. Maybe I'll, I'll shade in some of this shoulder now that i got the pencil out, right? So I'm just going into the shoulder. I'm getting some shadow up here in the corner. Right? Just getting some shadow. And over here. So you want to leave a bit of highlights. So leave the white of the paper for highlights, okay? On certain parts of the paint uh, drawing. That looks really nice when you leave some of the lights there. This is really dark here. We got some shadows going on in here. Underneath her chin. I just see some shadow here from the hair, but we're not finished with the hair yet, so I don't want to get too too caught up in that one. So I'm just getting under her chin, kind of very lightly putting in some shadow here. Leaving the center for now, just so I can see what I want to do. There's some shadow underneath her hat. Make sure that your um, your blending stumps you got three or four different sizes because you probably need a smaller size for things around her chin and smaller areas. So uh, you might want to change it up every now and then. So I'm going over that line there and I'm coming up a little bit into her face. Coming in a little bit into her face, trying to get a little bit of shape there. All right. And her hat. I'm going to go on top of that line there and around here. That doesn't, that's not in the drawing. You can leave it there or you can take it out, whatever you're looking for. I'm going to take it out. I'm just so I can show you, you know, trying to get as close as I can to this one. So let's go ahead and get our darker 4B pencil. Alright, so I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to, I think I'm going to darken a little bit more up here. I want to get some nice separation there. And a little bit of darkness around here. Just make it stand out a bit more. And this line here, as you can see, that's not exactly the same, right? That's okay. See how dark that 4B pencil is? Isn't that nice? Gives you really good shadows. See how dark that is? Isn't that nice? And then we're going to go across the nose. Very gently, because you're using a dark pencil now, so if you make a mistake, it's going to be harder to erase. Alright. Her nose is a bit bigger here. It seems like it's, the head is not quite down as far on top of her nose as it is in this one, but that's okay, like I said. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. Just try and get as close as you can to what you're doing, what you're looking at. Because the pressure, I find, if the pressure is on to make you draw something exactly what you see, it's going to be difficult because the lines, your lines are going to be a little different, and unless you do a, a unless you do a grid, 
I'll be doing grids after or unless you use a projector or you trace you might be able to get the lines exactly the same but if you're doing freehand it's a little harder to get everything exactly the same and I find drawings that are done with a freehand are the most beautiful because they're loose and it just I don't know it just looks so nice it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look traced doesn't look like it was measured and all that stuff you know even though we did some measuring but I'm saying it doesn't look that perfected look it just looks natural just going over those lines a little bit I don't want to make them too liney because now I got got to bring that out now so that because I did that right so I don't want it to be but that's okay you can do that try and keep that line from getting too long too much of a line and this is going to be shadow it's going to be shadow up here and her lips are going to be so you got sh uh, her lip let's darken that a little bit so we can get some just trying to get look like it's open a bit and then we're going to get that little letter N there give her a nice pouty lips cute isn't it and then we're going to give her a little shadow there just to, for her nose between her nose and her lip it's a shadow over here just trying to establish some shadows and there's a little bit of a shadow over here so just establishing some shadows her nose and her nose got a little bit of a shadow so now that we got more of a nose we're going to have to put a shadow here Okay. Now we've got to get some shadows in the hat, which is here. It's so much fun when you're doing a freehand because, you know, you don't have to worry about making too many mistakes because you can fix it, you know. Freehand is the best way to go. I do a lot of, uh, when I'm painting, I do a lot of tracing because I'm painting. I'm not worried about drawing. But when you're drawing, it's nice to be able to just sit down. And when you do this, when you when you do this practice freehand, eventually you'll be able to sit somebody down in a chair and you'll be able to draw their face. You'll be able to draw their shape, their shoulders and things. So you might, you know, you, you get good enough at it. You can make a living off of this because people love that. People love having their portraits drawn, especially live. I don't do it very often because I don't, I don't have the time, but... If that because I do too much, I do I do paintings videos and I do drawing videos and I do TikToks and I and I do music videos and 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 live events and stuff. So you know I got my hand too much, right? So I can't concentrate on just one thing. So I would advise you to pick something you love. See, I love everything. That's my problem. <laughs> So um, pick something you love and stick with, get perf perfect at that, even if it's a musical instrument. If you're learning to play piano and drums and guitar, then you, you're not going to be perfect at one. You're just going to be able to play them, but you won't be able to perfect them because you, you're not spending enough time with the one instrument. So if you want to play piano, just concentrate on that only. And yes, you can certainly play guitar and drums and all that on the side, but Pick one main thing. So if it's drawing, concentrate on drawing. Alright? It's a little word of advice there to, to help you along. Because if you're really if you're really young looking at these videos, you probably think, God, you know, I can draw, I can paint, I can I can play guitar, I can do all kinds of things. Leonardo da Vinci. So this here I think has a bit of we got to make it look like it's dented in here or it's uh, got a shape. We're trying to find some shape here. Right, so we're starting to get shapes right now with some shading. That's all it is. Shading, right? See? That's all it is. You know? But you see it's a bit different. The face is a little bit wider. I might be able to bring the hair over, but I'm not really worried about it because she kind of looks like her sister. <laughs> How's that? She's her sister. So, get some of the shading going on here. This part here has a line going up here, and that part out there is still white. 
So I'll just shade this up a little bit. Yeah. See, the, the shading gave the head more shape now, see? Isn't that cool? So you don't really need to do a lot any, any more with this. We just need to sh get some shadow under here. You can borrow some shadow from all that graphite you get over in that corner there. That corner there. You can borrow that by going into that and then bring it over to the side of the face. That's what we call borrowing graphite. And then you bring it into this section here for a shadow. All right. So leave some op some light part there so that's light shining on it. And then we get side and nose is dark. And the side here is dark. And just there's not much shadow over here, but I'm always at it. <laughs> I'll add it. There we go. That's better. Yeah, because we want the shadow to be on this side of the face. And this side over here is light. So if that side over here is light, take your eraser and just pull out a little bit of lightness there on the cheek. And up around here by the side of the nose and down around the chin. And a little bit on top of the nose on this side because that side of the nose is a bit brighter, right? And maybe it's a little bit on the, on the lips. So now that, that leaves, so make sure you use a brush to wipe away the, the extra eraser that came off. So where were we? The here. Alright, I'm going to go with a 4B pencil. A 4B. So, I don't want to get my hand in the way. So I'm going to take, remember we did those lines, and so now we're going to do them again, but this time we're going to push harder, and we're going to use our 4B pencil to get those really dark streaks. Now you'll notice that there's probably some streaks between that I didn't fill in, and I'm doing that on purpose. Okay, so I'm just getting those really dark lines in here. And then I got these strays, comes over her shoulder. And if you take a, if you take a, a line, let's just take a line off of this one. And then you, you jump over it and you go again. Okay, then you're, it looks more realistic than one straight line. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that or not. See, I made a line. And then I stop, and I jumped over it, and I made another line, and they're pretty thin, and it makes it more realistic looking. Okay, so make a few of those. Make a line come off, make the hair come off of here. You know, you remember when you were doing tree trunks and tree and lightning, you know, and how you get all those lines coming off a line. That makes it look really nice. Okay. And on the picture you're looking at too. Don't forget. And remember we had this here, so let's get this drawn in. Now that might go over the lines that I made because but at least I know what I want to do. So what I can do is I can do that again with my with my eraser. I'll show you that in a second. So you can draw with your eraser too. I don't know if you knew that, but like I say you guys are probably better at this than I am, I don't know. But if you can pick up a few little tips and tricks, that would make me happy. And let me know in the comments if I did, you know, help you in any way, okay? You know, if you picked up one little tip or trick, you know, just let me know. I'd, I'd love to know. It really helps me know what to do next. And even if I don't know how to do something and you say, well, uh, how do you do this or that? I'll go look and I'll practice. You know, I'll go look for it. Uh, look for a video that's similar to what you're looking for or whatever. And, and then I will and then I will take that and I will simplify it so that I can show it to you so that you can get every little detail of how to make it and things like that, right? So, yeah, so here... 
and make those long lines and as you can see I'm leaving some lines come through right there we go good I hope my hands not in your way it's hard for me to tell what the video is going to be like till it's done <laughs> That's where some people have their own, uh, they have people to help them with the video so that they don't have to concentrate on the video itself, you know. But I have, I have to see what the video is like after it's done. I try my best to, to make it as good as I can while I'm doing it. You know, it's like this, this is out of line. You can't see that now, but if I move it over, you can see it. So I might forget to move something or, you know. So these things are going to happen. When you're doing videos yourself, one of these days, one of these days, kind of like doing it on my own though. I mean, you know, if I have somebody sitting here watching over me, I might, I might be able to concentrate as good. But it's, I guess it's just something you have to get used to. So I'm just getting these lines in, nice dark lines, but yet I'm not. I'm letting some come through. All right. See, there. These are the shadows underneath the here. So now what we're going to do is take our. I might just take my tissue first and smooth that out a little bit. Just give it a smooth look first, and then I will take my eraser. Now you can use the. Um, you can use the kneaded eraser and get a really nice pointy top to it. Just squeeze it together and get a chiseled edge and then you can use that to pull out some highlights, right? Well look, it's not it's not taking the graphite off as good as I like for it to. So I'm just going to use this one, see how this works. Alright, so, so what's happening? I got some of this paint, this uh, sandpaper here so I can clean up my because sometimes your eraser won't work because it's full of graphite already so I'm going to clean that up clean up the edge and see if I can get that to work better so now I want to bring the here so pulling out some of these highlights So I can get the shape of the hair. So there's probably some hair going over there. Remember I said over here. So I'm pulling out some of that. I'm going to bring in some of these. So just use your eraser to pull out highlights. Okay. And maybe some strands of hair coming off like this. Just going over what I did there. See, that's how you get your cat whiskers. If that was a cat's face and you got your shading here, then you'd be able to put some nice whiskers coming out, right? So I'm just pulling out some of my highlights, and that will give me the shape of the hair. So you go with the shape, where right? you make those turns, make those turns. So you get all that black graphite underneath, and this is going to help me get these really nice highlights and shape of the hair. See? See how much graphite is on it there now? So you want to clean it up. You want to clean it up and get some hair. You can even go over some of the ones you did to get some hair pulling over some hair, you know what I mean? Like, pull some hair over what you already did. Kind of layer the... But how nice is that though? What do you think? So I'll leave it at that. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. Let's get a bit more shadow in here. 
I better leave it alone. I probably gonna mess it up and you're gonna get confused. I didn't like that side of her face, so I fixed it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it because you know I can sit here and play with this, you know, for hours and hours because I just love drawing. And so, but that should help you a little bit, I think. Let me know if it helped, okay? And uh, so you can see it's similar. It's not exactly the same. And there's some things that are a little bit different, you know, but um, it's pretty similar. It's not bad. The hat probably didn't come out as, as probably should have put it a bit wider on that side. You know, that wouldn't be hard to fix. If that all that needs is to come out a bit more, it's not, that's not a big deal. Her nose came down underneath her a little further down, right? So, but hopefully this helped you. And um, if it did, let me know. And that's it. So you guys uh, go ahead and give it a try. And I will say happy drawing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.